So question of the day is, and it's a very common question, by the way, that what would I do that, you know, if I'm going for my testing for my lipid profile, should I go fasting or should I go regular or random? So the best thing or the best approach in this regard is tell the lab personnel that you are fasting and so that he will type into the report that these are fasting lipid levels. Or if you're not fasting, tell that person as well so that he will type it then and there. These are non-fasting lipid levels because there is a difference that how much it, it relates uh, to the fasting and the non-fasting levels. So is that difference between the fasting and the non-fasting lipid level significant or not? So according to this publication, and I will post the, this link in the description of my video, so I'll go through it in detail. According to this publication, they are saying that it is not significant of a difference. So they found that the mean total cholesterol and the HDL cholesterol levels, they differed by greater than 2% between the fasting and non-fasting levels. And when it comes for the LDL cholesterol, the values differed by less than 10%. And for triglyceride levels, they are differing by less than 20%. So for some people, these could be big percentages, okay? Whereas for others, they could, these could be small percentages. But their conclusion is that these are uh, generally unnecessary. So the research concluded that the fasting for lipid level testing is not necessary, but I would still keep in mind that, okay, tell the personnel who is drawing your blood so that it is for your reference also so that you can, you know, compare next time as well. Let's say today you got your testing done fasting, but next time it's a non-fasting. So you, you know what you ate and so that you can keep a track of it and don't get alarmed by a 20% change in your triglyceride levels in your next report that, Oh my God, what happened? It's 20% higher. So it could be just because you got your blood drawn right after your meal, okay? So that's why I'm saying keep these numbers as a reference and so that you don't fall into stress uh, situation. Uh, that's why I'm bringing it forward that, yeah, generally speaking, it's not necessary to fast, okay? But if you are fasting, then it is a different number. If you are not fasting, then it is a different number as well. But the percentages, the percentage difference is not huge, okay? Uh, I hope that helps. I wanted to give it something back to the society and uh, you will um, see the, uh, the link in the description, okay? So just go over it in detail. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.